Here it is, 20 years later, and we're back in this game. Let's start a new series and drop some bows. What's up, guys and gals, and welcome to this thing we call the Outer Middle Show. Mad Vlad is the name, and Miss Survival is the game. And in today's episode, that's right, we're starting a series, and I've got a bit of a backstory on this one. We played this game about 20 years ago when it first released, and I promised to make a series on it. Before you say anything, shut your mouth, let me explain. Upon deeper investigation, I found out that this game only has one dev, and at the time there wasn't too much to cover. Some people speculated, or at least one person speculated, that I played this game because I was paid to play this game. Newsflash! I don't take money from devs. You hear me? I drop bows. <laughs> like that! But some time has passed, and they have updated this game quite a bit, and I'm actually impressed with what one dev has done. Now, we have been playing this game on Twitch on Saturday around 12 o'clock EST just to get familiar with the game. And might I say, it's been fun, but we've got an emboss to kill, and our series starts here. So I'm going to shut my mouth and hit new game. <laughs> Three years ago, a mysterious thing happened. A mysterious mist covered many parts of the world. Most people got sick and died. Many of those who survived suffered changes. They became ferocious, turning vicious when they touched, when touched by the fog, seeking fresh meat to feed upon like other humans. You are one of the very few who is immune to the mist. You survived in a camp with others before it was attacked by creatures unlike anything you had ever seen before. You survived and escaped into the night. A new day dawns. So, we escaped into the night. And here we are, starting off fresh with nothing. Let's go ahead and close this. We don't need to read it. We have stamina. We have stats. All right, there's craftables. It's crazy. Post-apocalyptic has never looked so good. And this is a single-player game. It's not multiplayer, which is perfect for me because I'm a, I'm a survivalist uh, YouTuber, so it fits. Okay, we're going to skip past all the you know tutorials at the beginning because I already know what I'm doing. Kinda. Right now, what we need to focus on is looting. We're not going to make this our main shelter. There are shelters scattered out across the map. And the map size is pretty impressive as well. i got to figure out where I am. We're going to be looting cars. Oh, upgrade. <laughs> we just upgraded our inventory. Looking much better. Oh, wow. Let's loot all of that. Now, certain tasks take certain time. And you have to watch that. Because you could potentially fuck yourself and the mist could creep up on you. Bite you in the sack while you're busy taking a battery out of a car or something. Okay, I know where I'm at. What we're looking for is a big white house. What is that? Actually, oh, there's a red truck. We're going to be coming back for that later. Once we get a truck, things are downhill. We need to stock up on storage containers like lockers, briefcases, boxes and store them all at the house so we have to unleash our pack rat tendencies to survive the apocalypse yeah I thought I knew where I was I have no clue yep oh man I think we're on the other side of the map let's go ahead and loot a little bit let's go ahead and pick up a rock we don't have a whole lot of inventory space we're just gonna go with it some cars you can loot some cars you can't oh yes boots let's throw those on there we go got something on our feet now <laughs> we ran out in the woods naked, I guess. <gasps> wow. <laughs> what a find. Are you shitting me? We just found an M4. No way, dude. Okay, let me just let me get let me just let you know something. That is a very rare item. Okay? Very rare item to find right off the bat. That was luck. Now all we need is bullets and we're pretty safe. <laughs> I can't believe we found that. Okay, let's make our way down the road. Oh man, that was dope. We're off to a good start. Now wait a minute. I can't tell if I'm going the right way or not. I thought I knew this map, but 
Oh, there's the road. There's there's the main road, I believe. We're looking for the gas station and a hotel. So I'm gonna run around and see if I can find dead. I might be going the wrong direction. Okay, I think I know where I'm at now. Another thing I want to point out. You hit tab and you can see your stats. I ran out of stamina. I'm waiting for it to fill all the way up. But we're looking good on our stats so far. I'm kind of covering them up. Yeah, it's not important, okay? Well, it is, but you don't need to see it. I also want to point out that there is an emboss. I think I already said that. Yeah, there's an emboss in this game, and that's where we're going to end the series. That's going to be the last thing we do. There are strongholds all over the map with uh, AI, very violent AI. Other survivalists, so to speak. We're going to take those out one at a time. But for now, we're just trying to locate our house. There's a house on this map that is perfect to set up base. And I saw tigers. Okay, we're being shot at. Stronghold straight ahead. The dude's got a scope. I'm trying to... Oh my god, yeah, they all see me. That's the... I think that's the biggest stronghold in the game. I just literally ran up on it. Ow. Yeah, and he shot me. And I'm dead. Fan-fucking-tastic. Revive cost. You lost... I lost my fucking gun. Are you serious, dude? Yeah, we're going back and getting that. The snipers can hit you from a mile fucking away. If you didn't already notice that. Thank God we're just right around the corner. We'll be a little bit more careful this time. Okay, we're back. Let's see if we can find our... Find our stuff. Now there is kind of a glitch in this game as well. Oh, yes. Thank... God, we've got everything back. And I, and I don't know if this is a glitch that is known, but every time you get killed by a stronghold like this, when you spawn back in, everybody disappears. And if that's the case, we're about to loot up like crazy. I think he was hitting me from that tower right there. That water tower. But yeah, I don't think anybody's here now. Which is, which is really strange. Yeah, it's empty. So maybe that wasn't such a bad thing. We don't have a whole lot of inventory space, so we might have to fill up a locker and then carry it. This is absolutely stupid. Yeah, you guys need to fix this. This almost makes it too easy. Okay, we're looking for ammo and bare essentials. Especially ammo for my gun. Okay, we need a crowbar to get through there. That's where all the goodies are. We got two wheels. Yeah, let's find a locker and fill it up. The mist is going to be coming soon. So we've got we've got to hustle. As a matter of fact, I think it's already here. Are you shitting me? Yep, the mist is here. Right when I said it. And we're safe up here. All right. So uh, we are at, I think literally this is one of the biggest strongholds in the game. So we need to find us a box. Couldn't find one. And then we'll fill it up with goodies. We'll try to find our white house. We gotta wait this shit out, though. I could probably sleep it out. Let's see. Let's sleep for two hours. No. They're here. Where are they at? I got woke up. Let's try again. Yeah, they're right under me. Look at them. There's some ugly sons of bitches. The reefer zombies. The, <laughs> the vape zombies. They've been blowing fat clouds. When you see those fat clouds, you better hide. Yeah, they will not let us sleep. So we're just gonna have to wait it out. Fuck it. Alright, we are back and the mist is gone. Ow. Yeah, that was fun. Let's try to find a storage container. Oh, two lockers. Empty. Let's fill them up. Okay. There's one. We can only carry one at a time, unfortunately. But that opened up quite a bit of room for us to carry some more stuff. And I found another wheel in the garage. Right there. We'll definitely be taking that. Let's just keep looking. This is like the post-apocalyptic shopping spree. Let's go up in these towers, see if we can find anything. Oh, I saw tigers. Okay, there's nothing up here. Let's get the hell out of here. We got to be very observant at what we look at. Because uh, usually there's a lot of stuff on top of trailers. 
They're, they're in a lot of weird spots, especially guns. Not that we need a gun at the moment. We got the best one in the game. Oh my god. Yeah, okay. Alright, found a baseball bat. I'll take it. If we could just find a crowbar, that'd be perfect. We could get into these... Ooh. We could get into those spaces. Man, we are off to a great start. This is excellent. Oh. Look at all this food and drink. We're gonna live like kings out here. Got us some beefaroni. Oh my god. Got some more ammo. Got some cloth. More ammo. I think we're pretty full. I don't know if that's the right ammo. It is. Uh, we've got ammo now. We got eight shots. I'm gonna save it. Ooh, a gear. Definitely need that. Okay, so I still kind of don't know where I'm at on the map. So let's go ahead and grab our locker. Let's get the hell out of here. It's gonna be kind of awkward running this thing all the way across the map, but whatever. Be worth it. It's full of goodies. All right, uh, let's try to find a home. Let's pick this bitch up. Go. Hopefully, we don't run into another stronghold. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I think I know where I'm at. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I know where I'm at. Yeah. Okay, so this is the lake. Just past this lake. Is that a snake? Oh no, wait a minute. That's a stick. We ain't got no inventory space though. Hard sticks. There's 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 a couple different types of sticks. If you find a hard stick, you can make a spear out of it, and it's pretty effective. But whatever. Our house should be right up this way. We gotta gain our stamina back though. I think I think we found it. We did. There's the gas station to the left, and the motel to the right. I think, yes, yes! We finally know where we are. Holy shit, we were on the, literally the opposite end of the map from where I thought we were. Okay, good. We're gonna come back to this motel, but first we've gotta set this locker down at home. Possibly find another one, because our inventory is full. <gasps> oh. My. God. Yeah. That was close. You do not want to fuck with a bear. Bears don't play no shit in this game. Oh god, we're a little bit too close. There's a stronghold to my left, so we gotta bend right. Just hope that damn bear don't see us. Yeah, we'll bend right. Get out of sight of these dudes. Set up shop. Oh wow, yeah, that's really close. There's three guys just right there. We don't have the ammunition to take them. That is unless we get all headshots, but that's uh, probably not going to happen. But we will find a way to survive. We always do. The Mad Army, when the world ends, <laughs> will be the last standing humans on the planet. Ah, oh, yes. I see it. <laughs> home sweet home. Our salvation. Our crib. Our flat. Or wait, is that an apartment? I don't know. Our humble abode for the apocalypse is right there. On a nice piece of land, too. Right next to a military base, right down the street from a gas station. Couldn't ask for anything better. Got us a two-car garage. It's nice. This property would probably cost around 200 thou, at least. I'll tell you what, we're gonna put all of our storage in the garage. I actually want to put most of it on this wall right here. The, the good thing about this garage is there's no windows that zombies can get into. So, for the most part, we'll be in here. We'll sleep in the house. We'll rescue some people. We'll make them work for us. That's also another thing. Once you take a stronghold, you can rescue people and turn them into your, uh, not your slaves, but your, they can, they can join your survival cult or whatever it is. They're going to join the Mad Army and then they'll work for us without pay <laughs> but at least they'll get to eat okay this wall I want to be nothing but lockers start just like that okay that lockers full we actually have a full inventory there's a little shack right across the street up here it's got another locker in it let's go grab it 
Okay, made it to the shack. Here's our locker. See if anything's in it. Yeah, some yeah, some food in it. I'm gonna go ahead and throw some stuff in it. We'll sort everything out later. All right. Oh man, this thing's heavy. Let's get out of here. That is, if we can. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we're back. Let's set these up. Make them look sexy. Okay, we separated them. And then we'll fill in the gap. Oh shit, we're dehydrated. I know we've got sodi pop. Let's go ahead and drink up. Mm. Oh yeah. Let's eat some canned carrots. I don't, I don't know why we'd eat canned carrots, but whatever. I guess that's all there is. Beggars can't be losers. There we go. We're, we're kind of topped off. You know what? I want to start this with a bang, so I'm going to go ahead and save right here. I'm going to go after that stronghold. I'm going to put some bullets in their brains. We've got eight shots, and I know for a fact that they've got some more ammunition at this stronghold. But we might need a crowbar. I may be jumping the gun, but there's also a prisoner up here. There's only three of them. I've got eight shots. If I take my time and I aim for the head, we got a good chance. This, <laughs> this is probably really stupid. You know what? Yeah, I think this is kind of stupid. Maybe maybe we'll take these cabins first? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll take these cabins first. Hello? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, let's take our time. Place our shots. Like this. <laughs> One's dead. Oh, God. I fucking ripped two off. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, they're dead. God, I'm good. Let's just hope there's something good in here. More bullets. <laughs> Perfect. Let's see, one of them had some sheets on them or some rags. <laughs> Got some pilts on another one. Usually the zombies in the in the houses have some pretty good shit on them. Ah. We need a crowbar. Okay, on to the next lake house. Shh. Wait for him to stop. <laughs> oh, there's two in there. I didn't see that guy. We're gonna stop and get a shot. <laughs> Done so! Be dope if we found some more bullets in here. Okay, let's loot up. Man, these dudes got some good stuff on them. Oh my god. Okay, I mean, that, that wasn't bad, but it wasn't good. We're gonna have to come back anyway with a crowbar. Bust through them doors. Fuck it. We're taking the stronghold right now. Okay, let's be quiet. Oh, shit. Let's duck down. Oh, God, they are all right there. We need to get closer. Okay, we've got to place our shots. Really well. One dead. Two dead. <laughs> Three dead. <laughs> that was dope. I had one bullet left, man. That last shot. Oh, man. That was a good shot. Okay, they're all dead. Now, we got to make sure they didn't drop anything. They, they should have dropped weapons, but I'm not seeing any, which is kind of a bummer. Let's loot. Some ammo. I can't believe we just did that. He had some broccoli on him. The fuck? Oh, we got some gun parts. Excellent. Okay, he had a canty parts on him, Brett. I like you, man. It's too bad you're dead. Ooh, combat knife. Excellent. I thought they had a prisoner. Uh, I don't know. Man, that'd be great if we found a crowbar. Oh, yes. Upgraded inventory space. Got three slots. Hey, what do we got here? Got some nails, that's critical. Some circuit boards, I don't know what those are used for. Oh, that's locked. Yeah, we need a crowbar, man. We need one bad. I think that's what we'll do. Yeah, we need a crowbar. Let's look around for some automobile parts, maybe? Huh? Oh, it's soda can. Wish they would have dropped more weapons, but whatever. Okay, got us another saw. I think that's it, until we get a crowbar. Okay, so, let's see. A workbench. I think we're going to need a workbench. I can't remember where exactly I found one before. A workbench is where we craft stuff. And I remember picking one up. I just... 
don't really remember where I got it. It might have been at this hut. Let's go check and see if we can find a workbench. Yeah, nothing here. All right, so let's, uh, shit, let's go back. I can't find that workbench. We're going to grab those lockers that were in that stronghold. We'll take them back to our base, store them, drop off our stuff, and then we're going to the military base. Bam! And there we go. Okay, this locker is locked, so we can't get into it. Let's, uh, damn, that's full. Let's offload all of our stuff. <laughs> Fucking broccoli. I'm going to eat it. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Eat that broccoli. Now, when we get a truck... We'll be able to haul multiple lockers, boxes, whatever we need in one go. We'll probably get that in the next episode, I'm not sure. But we are going to loot the military base. That's a big one, before the sun sets. Is the fog coming? Are you serious? No way. I can't tell. Is that mist? Yeah, that, that kind of looks like mist. We've already had one today. That's what I don't understand. I might be tripping. Ooh, what's this? I've never... Whoa. You can put a lot in this. Holy hell. Yeah, I don't think that's mist. I think that's just the sun going down. Yeah, this thing is a loot beast. But not really, because we can fit more in a locker on a truck. I'm a little afraid to go out. I'm gonna. I'm just going to go ahead and admit that. I'm a little afraid to go out, because I can't tell if this is mist or just dew. I think it's dew. Now, zombies do come out at night as well, so we got to be careful. We gotta hurry up and get this done. Because I can't tell whether that's Mr. Do. Do do. I think it's just do do, but whatever. Now, the military base is, a, is another one of those places you have to be very. Ooh. You gotta look everywhere. We got ammo for days, man. Oh, yes. Upgrade me, baby. Two more slots. Wow. The ammo. This is great. There should be some military boxes over here, too, that we can take home. More ammo. More ammo. Got us some matches. More ammo. More ammo. This is fucking crazy. Okay, this is a... <sighs> right helmet and another gun. This is fantastic. Okay, we'll remember this box. We're taking it with us. And two more lockers. Wow. <laughs> More ammo. This is this is the most ammo and guns I've ever found in this game. Oh, there's a tire right there. We definitely want that. Now we've almost got all the tires we need. We need one more, I think. Is that another... That's another weapon. Bro. What the hell? This is insane. This is going to be a very awesome series. <laughs> More ammo. Okay. I think we've cleaned out the military base. Let's go back and get our lockers and our box, transport them back home. And uh, yeah, looking sexy. Okay, sun's going down, we gotta hustle. Let's grab this box first. Man, I wish we had a truck. It'd make this so much easier. I think the box is the only thing we're gonna be able to get home. Okay, so, boxes. Where are we gonna store these bad boys? I think you can stack these. I think we'll stack them right here on both sides. We want to condense things as much as we can to save space because this garage is going to be decked out here soon. Also, if you don't close up your house and your garage, bandits can come and steal shit either while you're gone or I think when you're asleep. So we got to be careful of that. We need to craft some lockers with locks on them at some point. Okay, this is a mad dash to grab a locker. Even up the other side. Man, I love this game. I'm having so much fun with it already. It's going to be an awesome, awesome playthrough. I got my sights set on that damn berserker. He's a maniac. Wait till you see him. We're going to defeat him. We're going to mount his head on our wall with everything else. Okay, that looks pretty sexy. <laughs> Everything's looking sexy. Okay, let's close this. Man, the sun is still going down. What time is it? 1753. I hate when they use military time. Oh, yep. Yeah. Now it's starting to get dark. Okay, let's uh, let's lock ourselves in for the night. There we go. <laughs> so far, so good. Look at this. Two M4 rifles. This is awesome. We'll do a little bit of sorting too, throughout the night. Okay. 
So we're gonna wait here. Let's see if we can sleep. We'll sleep for about eight hours. We heard something. Something woke us up. We don't want to sleep too long. Oh God, wake up. Oh shit, we're thirsty. That was close. If you sleep too long, you end up dying. Let's get our thirst back up. You gotta, you gotta watch that. There we go, we're full. Middle of the night. Let's go back to sleep, I'm scared. All right, a new day. Let's see how many zombies were running around my damn house. Wow, none, I don't see any. Okay, no dead zombies around the base. Excellent. Let's go get that last locker, get it in the house, and move on to other things. We'll go up the road on the back end of the map. Looky here. Oh my God, that looks terrible. There's nothing on him. There we go. Man, those lockers are turning out perfect. I'm curious to see how much ammo we've got. Let's see. Reload. Got 13 shots. I know we've got more ammo somewhere. I guess that's it. 13 shots, not bad. We'll keep it with us. Instead of running up the road, I'll tell you what we'll do. We need a crowbar. There are a lot of valuable items behind each door that either needs a lockpick or a crowbar. So let's get on that. Let's check out our craftables. In order to build a crowbar, we are gonna need a, a workbench. Let's go in the house, give you a little tour. Let's go ahead and claim it. Make this your active base, there we go. It's like we got all the windows boarded up. We're gonna have to actually change those to uh, the chicken wire so that nobody can get in. Hell, there might be a lot of stuff here, there is. Whatever's in here, we'll leave it. Got some nails, some food, some jobs. Our pet's heads are falling off. All right, not bad. Got the big bedroom, okay. For the most part, it's pretty empty. My only question is like, who the hell moved out? What is that? I wonder if there's a basement in this house. We gotta knock that down to get in there. That'd be insane. Okay, let's search around for a workbench. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it's at one of these log cabins. It's either at the log cabins or at the stronghold. I, I don't remember, but we'll find one. Now, I didn't find anything in the cabins. Ooh, a backpack. Yes, another upgrade. Extra two slots. Just what we needed. Got us a water bottle. Take that. Got us an axe. Perfect. Now we can chop down trees. All right, let's keep moving. Let's make our way to the hotel. Let's blast some zombies' heads off. I don't know, would you call these zombies? If they're infected by a chemical? Yeah, I guess, I guess they are zombies. I think anything that craves human flesh would be considered a zombie, especially if it was undead. Everything I just said made no fucking sense. Okay, first let's check in here. Yeah, I'm coming, guys. Got some more matches. Ooh, lottery card. Oh, wow. Okay, I'll take all that. Rag. Sexy. What is that? Booze. Yes. I'm gonna get drunk. I'm gonna get crunk. Up in the apocalypse. Okay, there's two of them. Got a big briefcase right there. Open that up. Let's run. Come on. What you guys got? Try and get a pop shot. Oh. <laughs> Stand still. <laughs> ah, I took three shots, but oh well. Let's see if we can get this one. Oh, come on. That was a headshot, bro. Make me waste my ammo. I double tapped him. Damn it! Well, at least they're dead. That sucked, man. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. There's another one. Oh, wait. No, he's down here. Might as well finish him off, too. Oh, God. There's two. One dead. Two dead. <laughs> God, I love the way they fall. It's awesome. Okay, let's search their bodies. What we got in here? What were you guys doing in here? Oh, yes. 
We got us a pistol. We got shit tons of 9mm too. Another axe. Alright. Dude, this, is, this series is awesome so far. We're off to a hell of a start. <laughs> yes! Yes! We got us a crowbar. Dude! Are you serious? Two cans of meat. Alright. I'm so excited. Look at all this food, man. The hell is that? Gunpowder. I'll take that. We are full. We're going to have to fill up the suitcase. Yeah, fucking drop that. We don't need it. We'll fill up the suitcase. We'll take it with us. There we go. Got us a baseball bat. We're not going to need that. More food. Living like kings up in the apocalypse. More bullets for the assault rifle. Okay, we'll leave that there for now. Go check everything else. Alright. Eh, wasn't too much in here. Okay. I think we've checked everything on the top floor. I don't think there's anything else to check on the bottom floor. Oh, right here. My God. Dude. This is excellent. My last little playthrough I did on stream was nothing like this, dude. We didn't find shit. Ever. And now we're finding everything. Okay, let's go back and get our briefcase. We're going to start cracking into these doors. We'll start with the stronghold. Alright, drop that there. Let's bust into this door. Hit V. It's going to take five minutes. Let's go. Bam! What do we got in here? What were you guys hiding? Got some paint killers? What we got in here? Okay, let's do it again. Five minutes, let's proceed. Bam. And got some ammo. Got another ride helmet. I'll take that. Take that. Some scrap. Wasn't really a whole lot in here. Okay, on to the next. Let's go to the log cabins. Okay. Let's do this. V. Proceed. I just hope the mist doesn't creep up on me. Oh, yes, sir. We've got 9mm ammo for days, man. On to the next. Let's see. Hit B. Proceed. It's shit like this that'll get you in trouble. That miss shows up. Got us a hammer. Eh, I don't think we can carry this. We do need that, though. We'll just leave it there for now. And there is another cabin across the lake that we'll hit up after we drop off the suitcase and empty our inventory. Let's go back home and do that. Okay, make sure there's no Zombonies. I think this house is clear. Yep, it's clear. Awesome. Okay, got us another door. It's open. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, come on. A gun box with a knife in it? Okay, so this cabin was kind of a bust. Didn't have no lockers, nothing, man. All right, let's get back home. All right. Lock ourselves in. Save the game. Now, I want to mention that there's almost an endless amount of things to loot in this game. This game is really big. It's a lot bigger than you might think it is. Things will really begin to take off once we assemble a truck. Because then we can haul and carry mass amounts of loot, lockers, boxes, everything. So far, this is the best start to this game I've ever had. If you've played this game, let me know if you've had a better start than this. This is going to be an awesome, awesome series. I think we'll go after the truck in the next episode. Start pegging out them strongholds one at a time. Eventually, we'll get enough craftables and loot to go after that damn berserker. And let me tell you, he's an angry fella. And very scary. Really, really fucking scary. Don't forget to check out all my links down in the description. If you want to support the channel, check me out on Patreon. We have a whole host of benefits for different tiers. We've got a banned gameplay series for the $10 Patreons and up. Having a lot of fun with that. Check me out on Twitch every Saturday around 12 o'clock EST. Follow me on Instagram.
Everything is down in the description. Go check it out. Just thumb through it. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.